Okay, this video I'm going to show you how to use the tracker software. So I have tracker open here. The first thing you want to do is import your movie. So again, you can record the movie with your phone or anything. And you're going to go to the, vi the video menu and click on import. And then navigate to the location where your movie is stored. I have it on my desktop. And here it is. And it's going to import the movie for you. Once the movie's imported, the first thing you want to do is play the movie and uh, make sure you find the frames that you want to analyze because some of the frames of the movie won't be very useful to you. So, for example, here the car's not moving yet. So, I want to wait until the car starts to move and set that as my starting point. So, I pause the movie here and if you're on a PC, you right click on a Mac. I'm going to control click on the slider here, and it brings up this little menu. And I want to set the frame, uh, the start frame slider. Okay, so it's going to start the analysis at that frame. It's going to ignore all the other frames of the movie. Uh, another thing you might want to do uh, is use um, this menu here which is your coordinate system, your axes, and you can drag your axes so that it's at the start point of where your object is. Um, the other thing that you can do is to create a new calibration stick. Okay. That brings up this little blue line, and what we're doing is giving the tracker software a sense of the scale. So it needs to know how long things are. So in this case, I want to know the length of this object I know is one meter. And you can use the zoom tool to zoom in, so to make sure you get exactly to the end of your meter stick. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a meter stick, it can be uh, if you know the height of an object, so say for example you've taken a video of uh, a basketball player uh, and you know the height of the basketball player before he takes a free throw shot, you could put in the height of that player. So I'm going to put this in as a length of 1 meter. So right now it's set to 100 and I'm going to change that to 1 meter. Okay, so now I've given the software uh, a sense of scale. It knows that distance. The next thing I want to do is tell it what object do I want to track. And for that I'm going to use this little create menu. And I'm going to create a new point mass. Okay, So I'm telling it this is the object, the mass that I want to track. And I want to turn on, on this little menu here, the auto tracker. I'm just going to slide it out of the way. And what you'll notice is that in here it says shift control click the video feature of interest. So what we want to do is choose a section of the video that has sort of a unique set of pixels. Okay, so a unique image. In this case the two little flowers on our car are pretty unique. So I'm going to hold down shift and control and then I'm going to click in the center of those flowers. And that's the point that I'm going to track. Okay. So Tracker is going to look for that little image, those pixels, and it's going to track them throughout the movie. So the next thing I want to do is just click Search, and Tracker will go through and follow those pixels across the movie. So you can see it as it gets towards the other end, it's eventually going to come up with an error, because once the buggy moves out of the frame, it can't find those pixels that you were at that you asked it to track, and it says, I can't find them. That's okay, it's gone, we don't need any more data, so we're just going to click close. And what you'll see down here is your table of time, and the X position, and the Y position of the object, and up here it's already put in a graph for mass A of time and position, X position, and you can see since it's moving in the negative direction, 
it's uh, the graph is going downwards in the negative side. Again, if you uh, want to right click on this graph, you'll bring up a menu uh, and you want to analyze that graph, you'll get a bigger display. And in here, if you want to quickly analyze this, you can just click on the fit and it gives you the, the line, the curve equation for this straight line graph. So we can see that it's of the form y equals mx plus b. In this case, it's x equals at plus b. So a is the slope of the line. And over here, we can see that the slope is negative 0.478. So again, given the scale that we gave the software, that's a distance in meters. Uh, sorry, a speed in meters. So that's 47.0478 meters per second, that slope. Because on the x, y axis here we have uh, uh, position in meters and on the y, uh, this horizontal axis we have the time in seconds. Okay, And you can always change these around if you wanted to. But So that's a very quick overview of how to use Tracker. Um, another thing that you can do if you really wanted to is copy the data out of Tracker and paste it into a spreadsheet like Microsoft Excel and you'll be able to do a little bit more manipulation with it. Okay. Uh, you can play around with the rest of the uh, menus uh, but that should give you a pretty good understanding of what you're going to be using Tracker for. Okay.